Jesus, man. Screw this lingering sentiment guy. Hello? Hey, isn't that my thing? Yep, yep, yep. Okay, just don't don't worry about it. Hey, Johnny. How you doing? I uh, hope we got you at a good time. What are you up to? Eh, yeah, things are going well. Just wrapping up Kingdom Hearts 2 for the channel. You know how that goes. Okay, yeah, true, true. I got Kingdom Hearts I'm working on in the back burner, too. <laughs> Darkness, am I right? What do you want? So, I'm actually starting to work on a third Sonic ROM hack episode, and I figured if you had the time, I could throw one of these hacks your way and get your impression on it. Oh, okay. Well, um, lay it on me. Well, you see, the first one is called 137E0 Action 1 Steak. It's a short one-level hack where Green Hill Zone is now filled with gravy instead of water, you collect steaks instead of rings, and when you beat the level, it says, here's the beef, which is honestly, like, the funniest thing ever. And then finally, when you do beat the game, it says you just wasted your time. Oh, 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 and then, and then there's this. <laughs> Why do you do this to yourself? I'll be honest with you, I really don't know. Alright, well, good luck with that. I'm going back to doing... not that. Damn it, I want a steak now. This was a weird segment. Oh, it's about that time of year once again. Oh no! It's time to take a look at some more Sonic the Hedgehog ROM hacks. This is my third time doing this now. Three years in a row, that's pretty crazy. And I know some of you are probably thinking, oh man, that's a lot of ROM hacks to talk about. There can't possibly be that many more he could cover. And you would be exactly right. Admittedly, we are getting close to the bottom of the barrel here. I mean, there's not a whole lot more I can talk about. What else should I do? Should I talk about Yef some more? I mean, what, I could do a 10 minute thesis on the life and times of this stupid white rabbit. Actually, you guys would probably like that. Cause you're all very sick people. Honestly though, it has been really cool being able to talk about this very niche part of gaming that I truly loved as a kid. While simply playing as, say, Tails in Sonic 1, which is just not an official thing, is cool, it wasn't until I played Sonic Gaiden over 10 years ago when I realized how cool this whole hacking thing is. Back then, I even modded my PSP just so I can play these games on the go. Yeah! It's a nut you can play with outside! PSP. It's like a nut you can play with outside. Good lord, what? Now obviously it's not much nowadays, but the combination of a new playable character in Mighty and new graphics, it really sucked me in. Just like that, boom, a brand new Sonic game for me to play. And speaking of Mighty the Armadillo, so let's just go ahead and lay this out right off the bat. Knuckles Chaotix, not a good game. Fantastic soundtrack, of course, but that whole ring tether thing, it's not, it's not good. So, what if we took that bad mechanic and threw it into Sonic 3? What if, huh? Sonic 3 and Knuckles Chaotix Edition. It is exactly what it sounds like, Sonic 3 with the Chaotix tethering mechanic. Level designs have actually been altered a bit with that mechanic in mind, however... Yeah, it's still, it's still not that good. I do appreciate the effort. I mean, Sonic 3 doesn't really get nearly enough hacking as it deserves, but man, man, there is the option to also play this in single player without the tethering thing. And the only benefit of doing that is watching Mighty's arm go crazy and detach from his body. So what say we get to the next hack, huh? One that quite a few people recommended me to check out was S-Factor, Sonya and Silver. Yo, you dealing with the S-Factor? Huh, really? Sonya and Silver? I mean, we all know Silver. Whether or not that's a good or bad thing is entirely up to you. But damn, Sonya is a very weird choice. Some of you out there must remember Sonic Underground, right? where Sonic, his brother Manic, and his sister Sonya are on a quest to find their mother and they have to play in an underground band in order to do so? God, the 90s were weird. In terms of the game itself, 
yeah, it's pretty solid. It's relatively a pretty typical hack that changes up the graphical style and the soundtrack. Sonya has this deadly tornado spin, and Silver has his telekinetic abilities. Aside from those moves though, yeah, it's a, it's a Sonic game alright. Not really much to say about this one, except it is pretty fun. It is always appreciated when a hacker goes out of their way to try making a legitimately really good hack. And actually, on a pretty similar note, here we have Sonic Brother Trouble. It is honestly like the same exact idea as the previous one, but instead it's Sonic and Manic. And the biggest difference being a bit more of a Sonic 2 style of gameplay with your brother following you the whole time, and also like Sonic 2, said partner not really doing much of anything. But in addition that is, in my opinion, really cool, is a bit of an overworld map. That's something that didn't exist in the original games. And by god, when you play as Manic, at the push of a button, you can throw a drumstick as an attack. That is an actual reference to the whole Sonic family being an underground band thing. God, the 90s were weird. It is a very short hack, with the first act of the second zone very clearly being unfinished, and it doesn't seem like it's gonna be finished anytime soon, so that kinda stinks. But alright now, how about we play a little bit of Sonic Boom? No, 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 no. It's funny, it's a, it's a cute little joke. Can you, can you please put the right title screen up? Whew, there we go, much better. Sonic Boom. Now this one is honestly one of the coolest hacks out there, but it's also one of the worst designed. Sonic Boom attempts to utilize the sort of dark and cool aesthetic of, say, the Sat AM cartoon. Here you blaze through a mechanical warehouse at breakneck speeds with special moves that just let you go faster. And when you're doing it and doing well, it feels great. However, this hack is beginner's trap incarnate. The sheer amount of obstacles that stop you along your way are off the charts, basically making it impossible to do this without taking any damage. And the bosses are terrible too, with such small opportunities to actually hit them, and any other time, you're gonna get hit instead. But I mean, the music for the first level is the Duke Nukem theme. It, it's so weird, but it kind of fits. The final level is definitely the highlight though. It is a mad dash out of the warehouse, escaping from a wall of flames that is chasing you, and it is just really cool. The potential for a legitimately darker Sonic world without being obnoxiously edgy is definitely there. It has happened in the past, so even though it is poorly designed, it's nice to see a small glimpse of what that could be. Now I would be totally remiss if I didn't talk about this next one. You know how basically any character imaginable is now playable within Sonic 1 or 2? Well, what if we took that same mentality and combined it with, say, Yoshi's Island? Oh yeah! This one absolutely blew my damn mind. Oh hey look at that, it's Sonic 2. Haha, <laughs> nope! It's Yoshi in Sonic 2. D what? Oh my god, what am I even looking at right now? This is the most surreal thing I have ever played. This plays exactly like Yoshi's Island, but it is a legitimate Genesis ROM. It is absolutely crazy that you can just take in a badnik and then turn it into an egg. Also, baby Sonic. But surely, the special stages are bound to be a bit w- oh, dude, what?! The special stages from Sonic Advance 3? What?! Aw oh, man, even the fuzzies are here. This ought to be good- yep, okay. I, I cannot believe what I'm looking at right now. Everyone, if there is any hack in this video that you need to play, it's this one. It's truly incredible. Man, after that, I really- I really just want to play as another random character in Sonic the Hedgehog. Oh, I know! How about a can of Pepsi? Oh boy. It's time to get weird, isn't it? I don't, I don't, I really don't even know with this one. It's a Sonic 1 hack where you just play as a can of Pepsi. You got these enemies here and I'm pretty sure they're just weird looking cats. Oh and hey, why not? We're already far down this rabbit hole. Jimmy Neutron Boy Genius. What? 
Oh, and don't you worry your pretty little head. Boy Wonder Pepsi Man is here to save the day with a nice refreshing can of sparkling goodness. Hashtag not sponsored, I promise. All right, I, I, whew, I really forgot how weird these hacks can be. Now this one I had to try simply because of the name, Cooler Sonic in Sonic 3. I mean, to be fair, Sonic is pretty cool, right? I mean, look at him. He's got a brand deal with soap shoes. He must be cool. How can he be any cooler? Oh, okay, I take it back. Look how cool he is now. This one, <laughs> this hack seriously just changes his animations to quote unquote, make him cooler. Even tossing in a bit of a pose when he bounces off a spring. Does that make him cooler? You're damn right it does. And you see, that was ultimately the problem with Sonic 3. His feet went in a circular motion. Now you make it an oval and boom, like 20% cooler. This one, th this is one for the record books. Actually, you know what, forget this. How about we play some good old standard Sonic 1 to bring us back down to reality, huh? And he's off. He's the fastest thing alive. Now this next one is not even all that weird per se. I just got to give the hacker some props. Dr. Robotnik's plan B. It is just a series of brand new boss fights. New battles have been done in ROM hacks in the past, but it really just goes to show how versatile Sonic 1 can be. It turns out it's pretty common to take the game that you thought you knew and completely turn it on its head. And speaking of that mentality, uh, cra crazy Sonic. Why did you guys ask me to play this? So, there is an actual, unofficial Genesis game released in Venezuela called Crazy Bus. In it, you move a bus back and forth, you honk a horn, that's it. Oh, it's good. Great. Awesome. Outstanding. Amazing! So, of course, somebody took that and was like, you know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking Sonic the Hedgehog. Oh boy, you gotta, you gotta love that music? Well, despite all of the adversity, I managed to beat the level. I even got myself into the special stage. Let's see what we have here. Rolling around at the speed of... Oh god, please end this. Why is this a thing? I hate all of you. Now before we wrap things up, I quickly want to talk about some hacks that I did cover in the past, but have since actually been improved. You may remember Pantufa the Cat, a hack that I actually didn't play because Sorry, I didn't really trust the way the cat looked at me. That that was that was the joke. It turns out there is a newer version of this game and uh holy crap. This is somehow a hack of Sonic the Hedgehog. This is incredible. The animation, so smooth. The art style, pretty great. The music, pretty good too. This this is honestly super impressive. You know what, I feel bad for making fun of this hack before, and it crashed. Well... Secondly, major props to what was previously known as Sonic Burned Edition, now titled Sonic Scorched Quest. This is that one hack where everything is on fire! The original that I played before was basically a beta, and while this still isn't 100% completed yet, there are more levels, basically the entire game is playable, some of the level designs have been tweaked, it looks much better graphically, such as Sonic being color adjusted to match the fact that everything around him is on fire, and there's even a fight with Metal Sonic that uses his theme song from Sonic 4 Episode 2, which was like the only good thing about that game. I probably just made some of you guys mad. Eh, it is what it is. And because really, why not? The special stages are the ones from Sonic 1 Master System. It's very, very random, but really cool all the same. This is really just a good hack made better, so I uh, had, to, had to give it a little plug. It's really, really good. 
and man, even Somari got an improvement. You remember this? Nightmare? There is legitimately now a hack of Somari that turns the character into Sonic and fixes the controls to make it smoother. Now don't get me wrong, it's still still not that good, but it's definitely a lot better than what it was. It's actually kind of playable now. And it actually just hit me. This is a ROM hack of an unlicensed NES ROM, which initially put you through Sonic's world as Mario, but basically called him Sonic, and now put Sonic back in Sonic's world, but it's also on the NES, which is just a weird thing since that never would have been a thing in the first place. What what just happened? Hell, even Knuckles' Emerald Hunt got improved. This was already a really cool and original idea, but now there's more musical choices, a playable to call, and even a competition mode for two players. It is obviously one of the most unique takes on the classic Sonic formula, and it is just as fun as ever. Man, you guys, there are just so many good ROM hacks out there. Ah, man. I'll just be honest with you guys, now I just want to play more games as Knuckles. Knuckles in Sonic 1. Knuckles in any level of Sonic Adventure DX. Knuckles in Sonic Colors. Knuckles in Sonic Generations. Knuckles in Super Smash Bros. Brawl. Knuckles and Knuckles and Knuckles. Finally, the game that we've all been waiting for as Knuckles, you and your sidekick Knuckles go on a massive adventure to stop the evil Dr. Knuckles and his stooge, Knuckles. Can the duo of Knuckles and Knuckles get past Knuckles to stop Dr. Knuckles from taking over the world? Well, who knows? Rhetorical question, Knuckles knows. And that's right, the title has and Knuckles in there. That means you can play as Knuckles. Here I come, rougher than the rest of them. The be <coughs> Okay, all right, I think, I think I definitely just went overboard there. It's time to definitely call this quits. We're gonna wrap this up now. Thank you guys for watching me do this now for three years. That's pretty crazy. I have a stake with my name on it. And just for my final words, Oh no! You, you probably should have seen that coming. You know me, the fighting freak Knuckles, and we're at Pumpkin Hill. You ready? I ain't gonna let it get to me. I'm just gonna creep. Down in Pumpkin Hill, I got to find my little speed. I